introducing uh, uh, Miss Yulia Balasla. Uh, she's a Russian artist inspired by people and their surroundings, relationships between people, feelings, love. She participated in many exhibitions in Russia. In the daily hustle and bustle, people forget about love in the end. They are left alone. People are connected with uh, each other by invisible threads, thoughts, feelings, especially close people. Her painting depicts the traditional festival um, festivities in Russia. And I completely agree with this. Uh, you know, um, it's a great way to express uh, your feelings, as I earlier mentioned also, especially we all forget uh, in our day-to-day -day life, uh, you know, a, a little bit of touch uh, with our uh, human touch, with our kids, with our, uh, you know, family, for, you know, family members. It's very important that the touch and the love uh, towards them, uh, you know, it's very important. And I'm, I mean, really eagerly to looking forward to hear from uh, uh, Ms. Yulia about her works and, uh, and symbolic of uh, and love and the feelings. Thank you, Yulia, it's your, uh, your turn. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this uh, art exhibition. My name is Yulia Bilasla. I'm from Russia. Uh, when I was a child, I studied in an art school. Uh, then I've got my uh, Bachelor degree in art university from Kemerova, Western Siberia. Now I live in Moscow and I'm a full time artist. I often participate in international exhibitions. Usually I use oil or canvas. One of my projects, which I present here, are my series of artworks about Russian culture. And the first painting is a um, old round uh, dance in, in the sun course. Uh, this uh, painting I've used oil on canvas. Uh, size is 66 to 66 centimeters. Uh, round dance is the main element of many Slavic holidays. These paintings won the second prize in the Ethno Art Fest in London. The second painting uh, was, uh, is called Ivan Kupala. Uh, the medium is same oil on canvas, size is 80 to 60 centimeters. Ivan Kupala is a Russian holiday of mid summer. On this day, girls made riffs and uh, guests at love uh, this night. Third painting is called uh, Kalidan. Uh, the medium is same, uh, oil on canvas, a size 80 to 60 centimeters. Kalidan is an ancient Russian winter carnival of midwinter on which celebrated girls of the new sun. This holiday was celebrated at night. People dressed up in animal masks. Uh, they sang and danced and uh, prepared traditional sweets and uh, treated each other to them. This painting won the third prize in the Ethno Festival in London. Next painting is called Shrovitite week. The medium is same, oil on canvas, size 60 to 50 centimeters. Shrovitite week is the traditional mid-spring festivities in Russia. Shrovitite week begins on Monday and ends on Sunday with a spectacular burning of an effigy. And the last painting is called Wedding Kokoshnik. Uh, for this painting, I used acrylic silver leaf on a round canvas, size 30 to 30 centimeters. Kokoshnik is kind of traditional holiday headdress of Russian beauties. Special attention uh, was paid to the decoration of the wedding Kokoshnik. In the middle, as a rule, there was a stylized frog, a symbol of uh, fertility. On the sides, uh, figures of swans. This uh, 
these symbols of marital fidelity. I'm uh, <laughs> finished. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. You did very nice presentation. That is very nice. And all your works are incredible, actually. They are very, very good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Yulia. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Vikash and Mr. Vipul, do you want to ask anything? Yeah, nothing to ask. Just, just to compliment you that the medium which you are using, the subject, like it's, uh, you are very much like a, uh, fascinated with the culture, like how do you propagate your culture through the painting? So we can always like relate these works with the whatever culture you are imbibed with, the things like festivities or or any tradition or any the folk or like tribal elements which you represent in your work and very colorful. So the artwork can be also become a medium of a cultural relationship or propagating your culture to different destinations. So these works really implies those uh, very fascinating works. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, both of you. Uh, now we'll be introducing uh, uh, Ms. Struana Daniela. She's a Romanian artist, lives and works in Rome. She studied in Academy of uh, Fine Arts of Rome, Italy, specialization painting and masters. Um, she won the silver medal at the Olympiads of uh, La Francophonie and the arts and culture competition in France. She has organized several exhibitions and for giving and collective uh, events, currently an assistant in the painting studio of the artist Alberto Di Fabio. I can imagine uh, the kind of works and the culture around you, and I'm sure uh, it's very inspirational uh, to many other artists. I'm very excited, uh, uh, Ms. Daniela, to look, look forward to hear from you. I'm Stay sorry, you. she's not available also. She's not joined. Okay, I will go through the artworks. Okay. So she's a brilliant artist, and you can see this work. And the next one is this one, the Night of Abyssus. There are very big paintings, like 100 by 100 centimeters and 70 by 80, like that. There are a lot of beautiful and a lot of, you know, meaning in it. Uh, it's very wonderful works. It should have been good uh, if she could talk about this. Uh, yeah. And this one is Panthesilia, or the woman as a force in history. And the other artwork is the two brothers representing the horses. And this is birth and death. Maybe Mr. Vikas, uh, you can say something about the artworks, how you feel. These are the ones. And I would like to hear from Mr. Vipul also. Yeah, the, these works actually implies the, all the education she has, like maybe she's not like a uh, separate artist, she must have learned somewhere because the works, the, the layers uh, which she uses in the work and the concept also in, in this particular birth and death, like to portray the entire journey of a person within a canvas. And that, that too into a, a kind of uh, like putting in a boom and then, then the skull. Around it and the entire cosmos around that, like the journey of, uh, of mankind. So this actually a lot of like reason the, which uh, Ahmed, Mr. Ahmed was talking about in his work of what he teaches his students. So to try and imagine as much as you can, and then you try and paint. So those imagination will reflect in your painting or the outcome, whatever you do. So both the thing, mastery over the medium and the mastery over the imagination. So you can see both of these in these artworks. Yes, that is true. Thank you so much for the explanation. Thank you. Yes, yeah. Mr. Lu, you can go ahead with the next presentation. So we will be introducing uh, uh, Ms. Olga Sova. She's a Russian visual artist, live and work in the UAE. She loved different techniques, but most of all watercolors and pencils. At the art school, she studied drawing, painting, composition, and art history. She was one of the best students in the group and participated in exhibitions. She had finished the course of interior decoration. She worked at a kids club uh, as a visual artist where she taught. 
children painting as well. Um, Ms. Volga, you know, thank you and uh, looking forward to hear from you. Thanks. Hi, Please everyone. Stay. Hi, everyone. My name is Olga Sova. I'm from the northern part of Russia, but I have been living in the UAE for the last 24 years. Uh, so then, as already just mentioned, so like um, uh, in the childhood, I uh, have always drawn no matter where, on paper, walls. So later, I went to children's art school where I studied painting, drawing, sculpture, history of art, and etc. And then in my yard, I attended art workshop where I was uh, fortunate enough to work with a honorary artist, which is I always remember with a grace. Uh, in Russia, I worked as an artist for a short amount of time, but I had to change, uh, change jo job due to the difficult uh, financial situation in country in the mid 19th of the last century. Uh, thus, I started my own small business where I came to travel a lot, including abroad, where I got to know the UAE. In Emirates, I only, uh, only after a certain amount of time, I was able to draw again, and the first it was murals, and uh, after the while I decided to draw my uh, ideas on paper. At the moment, I already have several collections in graphite and watercolors, as you mentioned, uh, which on average uh, consists between eight to 12 works. I have presented two works from five different coll collections to the Culture uh, Diversity Art Exhibition. Uh, probably I won't be able to tell you uh, um, about all the works that will be an exhibition, but I will try to show some works now and uh, I will stand and I will try to like you know because there is some um uh, how do you call it this bleak is coming and maybe uh, just tell me if it's good enough if you can see my just a second yes it's very nice it's very nice view is very good okay, okay so let me start with this collection it calls 1000 power horse which is include 12 pieces of uh, all works are done on paper and graphite techniques the drawing that you see now is called energy or how many such a horse are in one Ferrari. Uh, size of this work is 49 by 81 centimeters. So I don't know, I can have, um, you, you got this work, yeah? Yeah, sure. That's, okay, so then next one, just a second. Next, next one. Okay, let me put that into my text. Uh, probably it's uh -huh, like this, yeah? Uh, the next work that you see from the collection of portraits, the work is done in watercolor techniques. It's called the pot Potter, or the Potter, but not the Harry. Size is 38 by 57 centimeters. Actually, I saw this young man at uh, work last year in Global Village, and I decided to portrait him. Um, just a second. Oh, I'll remove this one. Another one. Uh, it's just, can you see this or it's... Is it, yeah, we is can it, see this, so you can move uh, on. So then, mm -hmm. And one, uh, so this is collection called Names or Names. And this collection, it works, made in graphite as well. Collection has been made in Spectrum because sometimes um, a completely unexpected display can be seen through the prism of vision. You will find the names or object as well as the proper names. So for example, this work you see now is called Dubai GBR. And the um, foreground, you will see a car of the famous brand. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, and if you look closer, you can see many details that will tell you a lot. Size of this work is 52 by uh, 39 centimeters. And that's it. This is probably all for now. Um, however, I also I want to add that I was working as a realistic uh, direction all this time. But um, soon you probably will see my new works in completely different style and techniques. Thank you very much. Sorry. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, see you at the Culture Diversity Arts Art Exhibition. Thank you, Olga. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, you can move to the next uh, artist. Yeah, these are nice works, uh, you know, representing the true culture uh, of uh, our uh, UAE. Yeah, but now I'll be talking, uh, um, Ms. Aliana. 
She's a Dubai-based artist and self-taught artist, freelancer of uh, Russian origin, inherited uh, the artistic talent from her grandfather, Mr. Ivan, and discovered a passion for art at her early childhood age. Walking my unique artistic way hand in hand with the passion to creativity in every aspect of life, transforming all kinds of emotions onto the paper and canvas. I mean, uh, I would uh, give Ms. Eliana to talk about uh, herself and uh, her artwork, but I would like to remind all the artists uh, that, uh, you know, shortage of all the time, you know, we have to limit uh, showcasing the number of artworks and also try to be within uh, three, four minutes maximum if right, possible. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Elina, and today I'm going to represent two countries, Russia and Ukraine. Why Russia? Because originally I'm Russian and I was born in Ukraine and raised up there. I discovered my talent uh, in early childhood uh, when I did my first ever exhibition by showcasing to my mom some nice flowers made exactly by me on the wallpaper using as a medium my mama's lipstick. <laughs> Uh, as uh, you just told uh, on the presentation, uh, I inherited my talent from my grandfather. And uh, later on, I discovered a very big passion to art. And during my high school and university years, I was showing the excellent performance in the art-related subjects. Even though my university uh, specialty was not an art at all. After graduating, I continued to impress uh, the people and society all over around me by uh, giving my ideas and uh, unusual creative uh, projects and uh, by showcasing uh, it and applying in different kinds of fields like marketing, event management, and even finance. Uh, as an artist, I have... Um, to tend myself and to promote myself as the artist uh, without uh, belonging to any particular style. And this gives me uh, the uh, uh, wide horizon uh, to show myself uh, in the multiple different styles of art and uh, give me ability to go away from the stereotypes of artists which belongs to the exact particular style. Today, I can underline that sensual nature of art is uh, my credo and art is my happiness because each time daily, I open the gift, uh, which is given a uh, gift of my abilities, which uh, is given to me by God. And I'm so happy because of this and because I can share all this with the people around me, especially with those who I love. Today for the cultural diversity exhibition, I uh, represent uh, and selected seven uh, arts, seven artworks of myself related to different cultures. This is the first one. Okay. I'm sorry for a little bit of reflection because well, the painter uh, has yeah. a frame which is from glass. So in here, I represent the culture of United Arab Emirates. Exactly, uh, on this picture, uh, the man, local Arabic man in traditional Kandura wear is depicted. And this is the oldest painting uh, from these uh, seven paintings of my collection, which I've selected for today. The medium is charcoal pencil. Uh, the beauty and the prestige look of this local man impressed me to depict this painting. This man doesn't exist. It's a plot of my imagination. And uh, the white background and using only one monochrome color uh, gave me the ability to underline all the necessary aspects of this painting. This man doesn't in, is not in a hurry. He is well known. He is having a nice business and he is enjoying his life. He is proud that he is Emirati and he is enjoying the moment by smoking shisha. Thank you. 
The second painting, which I would like to introduce, is also related to Arabic culture, local Arabic culture of UAE. And exactly here, there is depicted a shisha on the balcony. This painting is created by me uh, during the beginning of the uh, um, COVID um, pandemic uh, time, once all of us were staying separately on isolation. And we were having nothing but uh, only the balcony or our facilities to have a spot of serenity and perfect relaxation. The medium of this painting is colorful inks and water soluble pencils on paper. Uh, this uh, artwork is introducing the style of urban sketch. Going to the third artwork, which also introduces United Arab Emirates culture, and as well, I would like to underline here that United Arab Emirates is a country where you can meet most of the nationalities of the world because people are coming from all the countries to stay here and to enjoy their life. This is a real Chinese family which I uh, met during shopping in my Sam Mall, Dubai. And this family immediately got my eye because they were so cute and their kid was so cute and they had a lot of details in their wear and accessories which they had with themselves so they immediately got my eye and their wish of sketching them appeared on spot moreover you can see here i depicted a lot of very tiny details like tin cans and different merchandising uh, which introduces the beauty of each mall and the prosperity of the local businesses. So here, there is a mixture of cultures, expats and people of all the, uh, all the world countries are coming here to UAE to enjoy the life. This uh, is also belong to urban sketch style and the medium which I use here is the same. So this is the work of this year. Now I would like all of us to go from United Arab Emirates to China. This is another artwork which introduces the uh, Chinese brother and sister in their childhood. And it's a heart touching story about two small kids which are in love with the nature and the nature's tiny creatures, kittens. In this uh, picture, in this artwork, I used uh, the style which is more equal to the illustration. And as well, I used different kind of mixed techniques and even I applied a little bit of pointel using the small dots techniques. And as well, I add some glitter to enhance the shine of the light of the candle. So here it is. And it's the work of 2019. And the medium also, colorful inks and water soluble pencils on paper. Now from China, I invite you to visit India. Even though myself, I have never been to India yet, but Hopefully, once I will reach India and enjoy my travel there. I admire a lot of things about India. And I still remember how impressed I was once switching on the TV program. I saw the show of a dancing snake with a pipe player. This picture is uh, also introduced in more uh, illustration style where they are old main Indian men on respect of, of the respective age with a kind heart is playing the uh, authentic music for the snake and the snake is a keeper of the keys 
from the from one's mystery and only the person with pure heart like this kind of old man can uh, make the very poisonous snake happy and kind as well so she can trust the keys with the mystery to this man the medium of this artwork is the same and this is a work of 2019. Okay. The second one, uh, sorry, the, the next one is uh, the artwork which, which introduced my country, Russia. Um, since um, it is uh, dedicated and uh, it's um, represented to the memory of gra my grandfather, who was a kind-hearted man and was a well self-taught uh, um, musician player. Uh, he played uh, by himself uh, and he started to know how to play and played uh, in excellent way the accordion. And uh, this artwork also showcases the, exactly the memory of my grandfather because Despite the passage of the time, the magnificent tune of my grandfather's accordion remains everlasting in our family legacy. Here you can see the face and the hand of the musician is a little bit faded. It's like it is not a human being, but already like a soul, a spirit. And my, my grandfather, he had uh, the accordion of... Uh, green color it was some decorative elements of green color on it and my father uh, my grandfather was very peaceful person kind that's why i decided to depict this topic this theme on the paper colored paper of green color the medium is the ink the water soluble pencils mostly black and white and charcoal pencil it's the work of 2020 I painted it uh, before the quarantine. And there is one more artwork, which is last one for today's seventh. By this artwork, I would like to introduce the society, the culture of the plastic utensils and dishes. In every country right now, in modern times, it's uh, economic to use plastic everywhere. And uh, here you can see the character, which I created sarcastically as a plastic pirate. Uh, it's a used plastic cup, which has uneven sides. It has only one eye, another one is injured. It means that somebody already used this uh, cup before and then they throw him. And right now he is walking and uh, he is doing his naval journey inside and in words, the waters of the world ocean. I would like to underline uh, the issue, the burning issue of the globe tiredness with the pollution caused by the plastic waste. And creating this character, I would like to urge the specimens of the human averageness all of us, trying their best to avoid leaving their plastic pirates outside the trash can, so that the world will be much more clean without the plastic pollution. This work was also created in the beginning of this year, before the quarantine times, and it's a monochromatic work using only one hue of colors. It's blue and ash blue, it's uh, made in inks of this color and water-soluble pencils. I love water-soluble pencils because if you will apply some water on them, they will behave on the paper almost same like the watercolor. So here we go. Um, as, the, uh, conclusion, as the conclusion of my presentation, I would like to underline that each of my artwork is framed with the metallic uh, silver finish uh, color frame. And behind each of my artworks, 
there is the authentic certificate of identity together with my original signature and the exact description of the artwork of medium and listed the uh, details like name and uh, the year of the creation. So um, as we have some uh, art collectors here, I would like to underline that this kind of pieces which I introduced today, uh, if you are searching or if uh, somebody who you know are searching the uh, elegant gift, el elegant art piece for yourself or uh, to make a gift for your loved ones, uh, you are all warmly invited to visit uh, the uh, Art Smiley exhibition. And there, uh, a lot of amazing artworks, including myself and as well another artist. All of us are very talented. And these artworks will definitely, most definitely, will match the taste and absolutely match your, any kind of interior and any kind of uh, taste upon uh, each single individual. Thank right. you so much. Thank Sorry you so much. to make it thank a bit long. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Alina. You know, thank you very much. You well presented yourself and uh, you well explained. Uh, thank you. It's uh, all nice works and from different parts of uh, you know, representing different cultures. Oh. <clears throat> Just I would like to remind the other artists also try to be, you know, because time is important, rest of many other artists to participate. Uh, so I know she has many works, but try to showcase uh, two or three works uh, and three, four minutes. That'll be, that'll be good. And uh, I know we can actually do all this in showcase in um, Doubletree by Hilton Bay Square, where you can, uh, you know, have separate say on uh, these things. Okay. I apologize uh, again. Very sorry. <laughs> No, 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 it's all right. Uh, thank you, Alina. It's, it's, it's good. Uh, no, thank, you. It's okay. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So now, I mean, our uh, guest is actually Mr. Vikash. He's going to, uh, you know, leave because of other uh, commitments he has. Uh, he wants to say a few words. Uh, Vikash, are you still there? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Please, uh, you know, say a few words to our artists, and uh, you know, maybe if anyone offers anything we want to reach out, we can, you know, through our through us, Art Smiley, they can reach out to you. Sure, sure. So yeah, thank you, Elena, for this like presentation, very descriptive one, and actually helps like the curators like us and the people like Lord, like we don't have to do much job. Like exactly. you have know, done so many things. And thank you, and the artist. This actually gives you the hint of the passion artist works with. So they're very like passionate about the work, representation, and how to put in front of the people. So I'm really impressed with that. Yeah, yeah, I would love to stay for a longer time and interact with each of you and give my like sharings with you, all of you on each of the artworks. But yeah, due to the paucity of time and I have another commitment, so I need to like move out from this meeting. But I would be in touch with all of you through Lourdes and see the, your works virtually as of now and physically at some point of time. So my all best wishes to your upcoming exhibition. And yeah, I'm happy to be a support pillar for all of you as an event required. Thank you for having me this evening and all the best to all of you. Thank you, Vikash. Thank you for joining. Uh, it's uh, very much appreciated your time and the valuable comments to all the artists. Thank you. Thank you Thanks. so much, Vikash. Uh, Elena, I had to appreciate it. It's a great work. Uh, you know, well done. Thank you. Okay, next uh, we go to other artists. So, uh, Miss uh, Vasilisa, she is also an, another Russian artist based in Dubai, UAE. She was an art teacher all her life. Then uh, the university diploma with uh, distinction she achieved in MA Arts and Crafts, 20 plus years of uh, teaching experience in art. Some of her paintings found their race to private collections uh, from Moscow to London and from Kiev to Dubai. She felt free to experiment with media and canvas from oil to tempera and then to aquarella and back to oil. So she's doing multiple forms uh, and I'm very excited to, um, you know, look at her works. Uh, Vasila, please, uh, it's uh, Vasilisa, sorry, uh, it's uh, stage yours, yours. Okay, hello everyone. I believe everyone hear me very well. My name is Vasilisa Ilisheva and I, will, I try to be very short. 
Say no problem. Hello. Good time. Okay. So, uh, I'm abroad already more than 25 years. That's why the question from where you are, it's always complicated for me because originally I'm Russian, but I am just a uh, human of the world. I mean, just because I'm. No, we are uh, many. Uh, we are all here. In different here, so places. Yeah. So, yeah. here, I um, uh, stay more than 17 years. And uh, for sure, I love UAE with all my heart because first of all a lot of suns and uh, very warm weather because everybody knows that in Russia it's really cold. <laughs> so uh, I just want to show my paintings because uh, I'd love to experiment with uh, my students and also myself with the sizes of canvas and with the different medias. I love to, to paint with the oil, with the watercolor, with the Paint, tempera with uh, pastel and charcoal and everything. So I'm curious to know new techniques and new ways to impress myself and uh, the beauty of the world. So this is uh, one of my favorite place in uh, Fujeira. It's um, Hilton Resort and Spa area. I believe it's not. Uh, it's possible to tell the place name and it's tempera. I love the hot night there and beautiful light. I try to show that through my painting. It's not very big then. It's like 32 by 42. Um, but I love it. And that one is my frame. I believe that all the artists prefer to paint the, uh, some unique places from Dubai. And this is watercolor. Um, I just blend a lot of things here. Usually I use Russian watercolor, but now I'm experimenting with other brands because before I was absolutely sure that Russians uh, watercolor are best, but now I'm not. So uh, that's one uh, was my experience uh, from the um, nice uh, party, wedding party. For sure it was before the pandemic. It was uh, winter and uh, I was so excited about the um, color of the wedding dress and the beauty of the bride. I, I could not avoid to draw something like, like that. I think that uh, very common way to, to perform the Arabic ladies. But anyway, I think it's quite beautiful. So here, my horse, like me, very curious and white. So it's also the uh, tempura media, which I love. It's very useful in my life. And this is uh, May tree, because I love spring in Dubai. Everything on fire, everything yellow and bright and uh, orange and red everywhere. I absolutely love that, that time and the, try to, to, to be outside all the time. But this, particularly the spring, it was complicated, isn't it? So, and uh, the last piece, uh, I did because I, I find a nice um, canvas. I stretch by myself. This is velour and I experimenting with different medias. It's outline and acrylic and uh, some kind of spray. Yeah, I do just kind of fun with that. Some of my friends already want something, something similar, but let's see, let's see. So glad, glad to see you all. I believe everyone's safe. And uh, anyway, we invite everyone for the, uh, our exhibition. And that's it. Thank you, Thank you so much, Vasilisa. It's a very nice presentation. It's good. Looking forward Thank to you. tomorrow. Yeah, sure. I mean, there's some great works, actually. I can see some very nice. I mean, I love your frame and around that. It's to, I'm from Shura. You know, it took maybe quite a lot of time to put together all these details. And I mean, very good, good skill. I can see the quality and the skill inside the net, I'm sure. So how many years, Vasilisa, you've been practicing art? 
Actually, I'm practicing uh, all my life. Uh, and I'm a teacher and every day, every single day I have to practice because uh, I could not lose my skills. Otherwise, I will be not a teacher or something, something else, someone else. So uh, I think it's, it's a secret number. <laughs> <laughs> like a lady, I could not no, tell you <laughs> what you're coming from. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I can see this, like this mandala, you know, the other lady also showcased, and the, the eyes uh, is so nice uh, and amazing work. So thank you. Thank you, Vasilis. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Okay, now we'll be introducing uh, Maria uh, Selazono. I mean, uh, rather than I um, don't uh, spell it wrong, so Maria, short is nice. So she's also another Russian artist, uh, watercolor artist. Based, you know, she do watercolors based out in uh, Dubai, UAE. She's also an art tutor, a fashion illustrator, and graphic designer. So Maria, uh, Maria showed an interest in art at the tender age of two during her years in university. Maria won more than uh, 15 international fashion and uh, art contests, contests in China, Japan, Belgium, USA, and Russia. Maria's work radiates a positive energy as she focuses on fashion, fairy tale festival co uh, costumes and sweets. Maria, this is over to you and uh, you can talk about your work, sir. Um, I'm very excited again. Uh, you know, a lot of Russian artists today. Uh, that's great to see a very quality work. Hello, guys. I hope you are safe and still awake. I know the speeches were so long and um, I want to be memorized as the artist with the shortest speech. <laughs> so I won't go deep explaining each of my piece. Uh, if you want to know it, you can uh, ask me on the exhibition and I will send you all the description uh, along with my bio. I, I am not sure it's so interesting at the moment. To be frank, I just collect um, lovely artworks which I had. I didn't prepare especially for this exhibition, sorry. So and all the meaning just linked to the topic of the exhibition. Anyway, um, each of my artworks are made from watercolor and I try to express lovely light and happy moments, which everyone um, would love to <laughs> uh, experience. Yes. So such as travel, sweets, lovely costumes. Uh, this is Russian style costume like and uh, to be a dreamer with a lot of bright and curious dreams and the open mind to observe all the beauty of the world around and of course let's appreciate the nature mother of nature so as you see all artworks are quite figurative simple light bright and that's what i want to express through my art like positive energy high vibes and um, I believe that art on the wall should harmonize the space, not just to be a beautiful spot. That's it. That's <laughs> a presentation. It's very one nice. <laughs> Thank it's you, Arya. You can take your time and explain that. As we would like to know about the artworks. Don't worry about it, uh, about the short of time. It's okay. You can take maximum three minutes. It's, that's fine. No, okay. I'm, I'm fine. Okay. That's it. It's, it's, I can speak forever. I don't uh, really want it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Wonderful. Uh, just one question to ask you. Just what is the inspiration about the dreamer? I love the work. Uh, you know, you just showcased to me. It's uh, difficult to say. Whenever I start drawing, I never know the result. I just see it and whatever comes out, um, it comes out. So there is no deep meaning. It's just an expression. Okay. Uh, that's great. Anyway, it's wonderful work. Yeah. Thank you so much. I believe that art is all about the moment and to capture the stream and that's it. No yeah. sketches, no pre-work, no thinking. It's just the flow. Yeah, that's sure. True. I, I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, Maria. So now we'll be uh, introducing Mr. Uh, Jitesh Sri Shailam Rajan. Uh, he's a self-taught Indian artist settled in Abu Dhabi, UAE. A person who is deeply in love with vibrant colors, more on abstract, loves to research and also to try new techniques for art creation. He finds inspiration from day-to-day -day life, especially the things and the matters which he meet in <coughs> daily life. He wants that his works to awaken old memories and relate to 
the viewer with familiar sensations. Uh, Mr. Jitash, uh, we are looking forward to, you know, uh, engaging with you. It's very nice to see, again, a lot of colors, uh, you know, we've seen today many different uh, styles and, you know, please uh, take the stage and talk about your work, sir. Yes, yes, and, and thank you very much for the opportunity and it's my honor to be here, by the way. This is my first exhibition in UAE and um, I, I hope you can hear me and see me, right? Yes, yes, you can. Go yes, on. Yes, yes, yes. And um, I'm basically from India, Kerala, and uh, by profession, I'm into HR, human resource, and the painting is my, kind of my passion. I've been producing artworks since 2004, selling privately to my friends and colleagues. And uh, as I said, uh, um, this is my first exhibition, so I, I really would like to thank you people for this wonderful opportunity because, uh, you know, the true art smiley, I can find my own clients and you know, I can express my uh, ideas and I can uh, distribute the paints. And uh, yeah, that, that's, that's really great. So here I would like to show you one of, uh, I mean, two of my paintings, which I, uh, I submitted for the exhibition. And uh, uh, this painting I have done uh, with an acrylic paint. And uh, the name of the painting is India. Uh, uh, the idea is like, you know the country India. It's it's a uh, uh, it's it's a land of uh, unity and diversity. So uh, because of the large uh, uh, geographical area, the country has been divided into different states and union territories. So even though there are different states with unique culture, uh, it's all inside one beautiful country called India. It's all uh, you know. Uh, it, it's all uh, contributing their own culture, but it's all mixed with the country and uh, it's, it's beautiful. I, I can say we are living in very peacefully and beautifully in, in, in one country. Even uh, you can see the, the, the triangles, it's unique. It, it's not uh, similar to one uh, other, other triangles. So yeah, that's it. That's it uh, about the first painting. And uh, the, the second painting is uh, called the Masai. Um, I hope you heard about the, uh, the African tribe Masai. And uh, usually we can see them in African countries uh, called Tanzania and Kenya. So they usually wear these colored dresses, especially the orange, the black, yellow, sometimes blue. And the Masai, they have a unique culture, uh, you know, like uh, even the government tried to uh, provide facilities to the tribe. They are still uh, would like to continue their footsteps of footsteps of their ancestors, and they are not ready to move to the, you know, they are not ready to leave the old culture of them. So uh, they are uh, really well known tribe. So uh, that's the inspiration behind this artwork. And uh, uh, yeah, I don't need to take uh, much time because other people are waiting. So anyway, I would uh, once again, I would like to thank you, Arts Smiley, for this uh, wonderful opportunity. Okay, thank you, Jitesh. It's very nice presentation. Thank you so thank much. You, Jitesh. Thank uh, you, Jitesh. Uh, fellow Indian, you touched, uh, you know, unity and diversity. That is the strength of our. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, just yeah. these are the words. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now we'll be introducing uh, uh, Ms. Parveen Kapri. Uh, she's an artist from Bangladesh, living in Dubai. And painting is a passion from the childhood love and her works are a result of a search for new and better perspectives. She mostly do acrylic abstract paintings. This is a complete acry acrylic abstract painting. Color is a symbol of culture. Colors have no discrimination as like the quality of di diverse or different cultures. She made the shading of colors as a variety of culture, many colors together in, the, in one frame as like cultural diversity is about embracing one another's uniqueness and uh, respect each other's beauty and strength. I completely agree with her words. Uh, and um, um, uh, Ms. Parveen, uh, here, it's your time to talk about your work uh, and uh, you know, a little bit know, tell us about you and your works. Uh. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you very much. So uh, I want to thank you for all, and uh, definitely I want to thank uh, Ars Manly to uh, create a great platform for all the artists. 
So I don't take a very, I don't want to take a very long time. Uh, I want to describe myself and my painting. This, uh, uh, I want to describe my painting in short time. So myself, Amida Parvin Papri, and I am a uh, Bangladeshi artist. I consider myself as um, an artist without a uh, level, um, uh, specific uh, genre. So um, I love to do many different type of uh, painting, but uh, abstract is my comfort zone. That's why I just create an abstract painting here. So I just create an abstract painting based on uh, cultural diversity. So um, I create, I mean, I will just change one color uh, that uh, you say that I uh, described already. I just made a shading of color. Uh, in my imagination, I just create a variety of culture. It's my imagination with uh, uh, different, different uh, shades. And um, every color in one frame is like a cultural diversity. It's like um, uh, uh, support and respect uh, one another uniqueness and uh, beauty and talent. So that's the concept basically, and uh, that's I describe, I can describe, and that's for all today. And I don't want to tell anything, thank you for all. And I want to invite all of you to um, come and uh, visit our exhibition in Double Street. Um, thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Papri, it's beautiful work. Uh, once again, good to see you here. Thank you very much.